Next up is the shot list. And to understand how that works, let's talk about how people did diagrams before they had shot designer. So in the old days, you'd make your diagram and then start putting in notes about what the shots are doing. And at some point, you'd then collect your notes into a formal shot list. In Shot Designer, you also just put notes into the diagram, but then the shot list automatically writes itself. So I'm literally going to close the shot list. We don't need it right now. Instead, you describe shots with a super duper label called a shot description that you'll find in the camera menu, and I'll add one now. Let's give it a quick name, like track into OTS. But it's inside the label that the magic happens, because now I have a structured way of taking notes. Here's the nickname that I just entered, and let me enter a long description, and we can fast forward while I type something. I can also select a shot type and choose from a list of either shot sizes or um, shot functions that are down here. I'm going to pick a slow creep. And I can enter a lens, so let's make that an 80 millimeter. But wait, there's more, because down here I also have props and gear and crew. So let's add um, gear. I'm going to make that a dolly. And the props, I'm going to make that a hat. I also have a thing called show fields and label, which automatically writes shot data into the label, so you don't have to write it twice. So you can see my slow creep and the lens are showing up in the label. There's a matching over the shoulder over here, so I'm going to add a shot description for that too, and then let's put in a description called matching OTS. And in the description, I'll set the type here to over the shoulder, so let's uh, find out where that is, first one. And then I'll set the lens to also 80 millimeters. So that's nice, except that I have a problem with my tracking shot that I need a lock take of the ending position in case I don't like the track. So in Shot Designer, you can add more than one shot description to a shot, and then it just becomes another version. So I'm going to add one here, and I'm going to call it Locked Version. And then let's add some shot data for it. I'm going to say this is an 80 millimeter. And the type is also an over the shoulder. So that's important to understand that each of these labels here is just a version. And I can even change the version numbers here. So I'm going to change this one into being version number one. And then suddenly this one is the main shot and this one's the alternative. I can also glue a version to another camera if I like that better visually. I just drag it over and then it snaps there. But it doesn't really change the data. It's just visual. It's only if I attach a version to a camera and then I detach that camera, then the version obviously travels with the camera and becomes its own shot. So I think that's very intuitive because you enter things in the same place that you're thinking about them. But then let me open the shot list because all the while it's filled out itself. If I tap a shot, I can see all the versions that are in it. If I tap a version, it's highlighted over in the diagram. So see here, it's showing me where it is. And that works the other way too, because the shot list is always focused on the shot I'm working on. And if I long press any of the shots in the shot list, I can rearrange them. So basically, I'm now rearranging the shooting order. And that's it. So for output, we'll go back to the main screen, and then we're going to go to the share menu right here, and then we're going to select email, PDF, and Excel. And that creates a PDF with the diagram and the shot list. And also the shot list is a CSV Excel file that you can open in a spreadsheet. The PDF obviously has the diagram, but then down here is the shot list. And check this out. It has all the information that we entered, except that we never actually had to sit and write it into a spreadsheet like this. I think that's pretty cool. So there's only one more thing. This way of working here is very diagram-centric in that we're describing shots that already exist. But sometimes you just have an idea for a shot, and you don't want to have to care about the diagram right now. So for that, there's a menu here that just says New Shot. And then you just put in your shot idea here. It creates a camera as well, but you can worry later about where you want to put it.